Hi there, I wanted to quickly talk to you today about Curator on Office 365. Um, I was going to show you this as a video, but there's some data that I wanted to keep hidden because we're using uh, live Office 365. Um, so I've gone with screenshots and I've blacked it out. So hopefully you can get your log source configured correctly. Uh, the DSM configuration guide is actually really good for this. It tells you how to get the required information for Office 365, such as the tenant ID and keys, uh, and how to set up the Office 365 environment, uh, as well as the log source. The URL is shown here, if you want to go and get a look and have a, have a read of that guide. I did come across a few issues, though. The, the main thing is to automatically acquire server certificates, set that to yes. That wasn't in the documentation, and what that should do is bring down the certificate, um, the office certificate, and stick that in the trusted certificates folder of the appliance. Um, other things that I found, I found that it did take about a day to start receiving events. I think that was due to Office 365, maybe a, an overnight process going on there. Uh, and there's also a known issue, the URL to which is here. Uh, occasionally, it seems to just stop after working for a wee while. Um, that's happened to me once after running for about a week. I found that just uh, disabling and then re-enabling the log source made it work again. So once we've got that, we should be getting these events coming on in. Um, they're not remarkably useful. There's a lot of information which you can see doesn't make it through. So things like um, file name, for instance, if it's a, a OneDrive operation. Um, the username, I've noticed only some events are putting the username through. Um, so not everything has a username. So we could possibly do something better than that. Um, client IP, which of course is different than source IP. So again, if our client is uh, remote, it will be able to, it's actually recording that information in Office 365, but not coming through very well in Curada. So what we need to do is we need to use uh, some custom event properties. So if we take a look at this, um, the easiest way to start creating custom events is when you are viewing an event, uh, click on the extract property button. This way it actually loads it up with, some, with the data from that event so you can test your regex expressions. The other way that you can get to it is uh, on the admin tab and go to custom event properties. So here, if it's kind of loaded up from an event, it will already have the log source, which will be Office 365. It will probably have the event type chosen, uh, the event name chosen. What we want to do is we want to set that down to category and set that to any. And what that means is that uh, this, ex this custom property will work on any event type coming from Office 365. If you just left it on the event name, well, it would be that specific event only, uh, and that's what, not what we wanted in this case. Uh, so if you get a look at the regex there, that's uh, I've already created that for you. So this one's bringing out the client IP. Um, and here's what I've set on up, and there's some other fields that you can do as well. So this view here is actually looking from the admin tab for custom properties. Um, and I've created these five here. And as you can see, they all take the same pattern. Feel free to copy and use that regex. Then we can create uh, our own search report and we can put the custom fields in it. And this is much more useful. So obviously now you can see that things like if it's a OneDrive um, or if it's an Active Directory, uh, Azure or Yammer or whatever it is. And we can see here for the OneDrive, we can see what file it's worked on, um, what the operation was. So much more useful information to start working on. Uh, and that's how you can bring in Office 365 to Curator, create some custom events, create your own reports, and make life an awful lot easier.